G1 checkpoint cycling D with CDKs 4 and 6 G1 the S is cycling E, CDK 2 with it CDK stop by we one kinase phosphorylation at 3 and E14 entire scene 15 but CDC 25 phosphatase reverses this to give CDK reactivation G1 checkpoint cycling D with CDKs 4 and 6 G1 to S is cycling E, CDK 2 with it CDK stop by we one kinase phosphorylation at 3 and E14 and CDC 25 phosphatase reverses this to give CDK reactivation. G1 checkpoint cycling D with CDKs 4 and 6. G1 to S is cycling E, CDK 2 with it. What's that last G1 checkpoint again? G1 S is cycling E, C, D, K, 2 with it. Oh, cycling E with C, D, K, 2. Thanks. G1 is growth after cytokinesis. Daughter cells will not have the same sizes. For G1, growth cells monitor their environment. Growth factors, steroids, intercellular advising. Restriction points commit to S phase and cell cycling. Unless DNA damage is maximizing. ATM finds double strand breaks and then binds it. From chemical and radiation damage ionizing. For cell cycle arrest, repair, or apoptosizing. Even P21 and CDC25 demising But ATR at 3 binds single strand breaks From UV and chem damage to fix nucleotide excising G1 checkpoint cycling D with CDKs 4 and 6 G1 to acid cycling E, CDK 2 with L CDK stop by we one kinase phosphorylation at 3 and E14 and tyrosine 15 CDC 25 phosphatase reverses this to give CDK reactivation after DNA breaks ATR or ATM activate check 1 and 2 which phosphorylate and inhibit CDC 25 keeping CDKs inactive ATM and check to activate P53 tumor suppressor guardian of genes for GAT45 MDM 2P21 synthesizing P21 inhibits CDK2 stopping cycling P21 is sip off kit family along with P27 and P57 for CDK2 inhibiting they stop G1 to S phase from beginning another CDK inhibitor family is Inc4 with P14, 16, 18, and 19 G1 checkpoint cycling D with CDK 4 and 6 G1 to S is cycling E, CDK 2 with L CDK stop by we one kinase phosphorylation at 3 and E14 and tyrosine 15 CDC 25 phosphatase reverses this to give CDK reactivation Inc4 P16 inhibit CDKs 4 and 6 to stop RB phosphorylation active on phosphorylated RB to suppressant bind E2F transcription factor for G to S prevention RB is inactivated through phosphorylating by CDK4 and 6 with cyclin D and CDK2 with cyclins A and E. They all phosphorylate RB for E2F's release for transcribing cyclin PCNA, CDKs, histones, and DNA replication genes. RB mutation favors cell cycling. RB mutation favors cell cycling. Uh. Human papillomavirus E6 protein binds P53 and stimulates telomerase. E7 protein binds PRB. This blocks senescence, apoptosis, and promotes growth, leading to cancer growth.